All right, we are in the final testing phase for the electronics on the Ghost Trap. Uh, many, many thanks go out to Jeremy Williams who did all of the programming on this and uh, helped me spec out the electronics. This would not be nearly as cool without his help. So thank you, Jeremy. Um, when I con conceived of this and decided what to do, I definitely wanted to have the pedal and I wanted to be able to trigger the trap from the pedal like it, it is done in the movie. Um, but I also wanted for the deluxe version to use the real hardware which are these quick disconnect uh, pneumatic connectors. And the problem with this is there's no real way to run wires through this and still be able to disconnect it from the trap and the pedal. Uh, so my original idea was to do this wirelessly. Uh, so we had RF uh, transmitters that were in the pedal and a board on the trap to receive. And the hardware was just not very good um, and poorly made. And even when it did work, it was kind of flaky. So we went back to the drawing board and I fiddled around forever trying to figure out how to make this work hardwired um, and still be able to disconnect everything. So the solution I came up with is, so this is the male foster connector and it's brass and it's hollow inside. And I basically ran a 3D printed insert down the middle and then through the middle of that I ran a brass rod which then made this into a two contact conductor. And then I split open the female and wired it the same way and ran wire the whole way through the hose and that allows you to connect and disconnect this while still sending the trigger signal. So the connectors can hook up like normal. There's a micro switch in the pedal in the hose here which triggers everything. So let's fire it up. Um, so each pedal push will trigger part of the sequence. So number one. And that'll keep looping until you hit it again. And then it'll kick on the smoke as the trap sits closed. You know, puff a little bit out. I'd like to add some ghost noises there at some point. And then once again, we'll reset everything. There you go. So coming along well, at this point, we just I just need to get everything tucked in here neatly. And I'm working on finishing and painting uh, all the 3D printed parts. And uh, we should be good to go.